welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to design a simple uh, car jack this is a screw with threaded here we will design and assemble at the end and uh, we will give this little exploded view animation I hope you like it so uh, let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS it is very interesting and simple project I will try to show 2D files also here it now see this is the jack this is the threaded you can see this is threaded view threaded jack I wish you like it okay so let's start the we will make each and every part and assemble at the end Now here let's start the first part of car jack arm 1 we will make the first arm here so choose here top plane sketch center rectangle and draw a rectangle with the help of origin point and let's keep the dimension 250 by 45 millimeter okay and extrude it extrude only up to 2 millimeter okay now here let's define the material uh, color okay front plane is sketch normal uh, here we want to create let's choose let's choose a line and start from any one point make sure horizontal and convert into half circle and click this line exit draw a line up to here convert it into half circle exit now let's define this hundred and seventeen point five millimeter and uh, let's check overall length two hundred thirty five millimeter radius fourteen millimeter choose here circle draw two circles at both the end ok now select both the circles make relation equal and choose the smart dimension and define it 8 millimeter that's it now let's make check the dimension 14 millimeter okay it's by default exit it should be tangent relation here okay now our design is fully defined so select extruded boss first uh, we want to shift in one one corner so choose here offset 22.5 millimeter you can see it here 2 millimeter thickness reverse this one extrude uh, sorry let's keep no extrude also we want 2 millimeter uh, if reverse then this dimension is not sufficient select ok now there is a gap so choose first drawing
edit this one it should be 45 degree 45 millimeter exit now check now it see it's coming out edit reverse now this is perfect okay now select uh, we want to mirror it just so select front plane here choose mirror select this body only extruded or you can choose it from here okay see now select this inside face sketch normal choose corner rectangle and select this line and draw a rectangle exit select these two lines make relation collinear now let's define the dimension from here to this point keep 15 mm okay this outside uh, you need anything because we want to cut it so choose here extruded cut and here keep through all we want to cut this thickness okay now select this face sketch normal choose here center point arc this is the center point and this is the point and up to this line select line exit we want to cut this extra face that's it extruded cut see here select here through all let's rotate see we want to cut in both side okay now that's it now let's try to mirror right plane mirror and select here extruded cut 1 extruded cut 2 okay that's it choose mirror uh, chamfer 3 mm select another end okay choose plane and here select this faces 0.5 mm it's uh, select inside faces also let's keep back side so that all area will be covered okay now this is the our first part uh, let's try to make more glossy uh, okay S this is save it create a folder car jack part 1 arm dash 1 now let here we will create the arm 2 with the help of arm 1 so first uh, let change this color yellow okay now 
select this part to extruded body part to just edit make offset 20 millimeter okay it might show you here a uh, error but it will correct it now go to extruded boss one sketch one edit and make this length 40 millimeter now exit now see this is the our part to be rated we just uh, reduce the uh, width of this part that's it nothing more now let's save it as a part 2 arm 2 let's see the next part here now here we will make the third part torque handle so choose here top plane a sketch circle and draw here a circle and let's keep the diameter eight, six milli, 9 millimeter now exit ok let's choose front plane a sketch line here and here we will draw the path for torque exit let's define it 150 millimeter and uh, 80 millimeter ok choose here fillet uh, ok let's keep 30 millimeter that's fine now select here X swift boss base select here first profile then select the path see here ok go to appearance metal and let's uh, define some steel metal let's see the machined steel or rough steel or uh, let's define some iron just drag into this part appearance filter ok let's save this part number 3 talk handle here the next part is base uh, base sheet so let's start top plane sketch and select line up to origin point then go down make little taper and connect draw one more line exit now let's define it 70 millimeter 25 millimeter let's say 40 millimeter and let's make the gap at angle 150 degree okay let's define the gap two millimeter okay now select both the end this points make vertical relation now it is fully defined our sketch is fully defined so select extruded boss select this face and this face also make two millimeter 
thickness that's it okay now again choose the same sketch extruded boss same sketch extrude here select this area only you can see extrude up to 32 mm okay that's it now select this face sketch normal now here we want to cut some select from here to here exit now let's define this bottom edge 2 mm 1.875 mm okay that's enough to we want to cut it select here extruded cut keep mid plane okay that's it see here now select this face sketch normal corner rectangle exit select these two lines collinear now let's check one more time the gap 1.875 mm okay that's enough this is what the portion we need to cut it select extruded cut and here keep end condition through all okay now it's time to add something some fillet we need to add here choose fillet keep 15 mm select this edge select this upper edge and select the back side edge now let's see that okay see it's become fully changed select this face sketch normal and choose here hole and let's make a hole here Twelve millimeter, and the distance from outer edge twenty-five millimeter. Eight millimeter the diameter. Okay, select extruded cut. Keep end condition through all. Okay. Again, check the dimension twenty-five, twelve, eight millimeter. That's okay. now choose fillet select 5 mm this time select this edge and inside edge okay now see it's become fully converted fillet select this edge only okay close uh, let's reduce it 3 mm also too big point 5 let's try little bigger 1 mm okay now it's time to mirror this body here actually this let's try some little bigger 4 mm no 3 mm okay okay that's also enough 3 mm choose front plane mirror select here bodies select this full body and you can see it here preview solid merge okay that's it now 
the next choose here right plane mirror choose here body now you can see it here so this is the our base sheet it is a uh, usable for base and lifting uh, lifting to the vehicle uh, make little dark color okay now let's save it part number 4 base sheet let's see now here let's do the main part of uh, car jack screw rod so let's start front plane sketch draw a circle and choose smart dimension and make it 8.5 mm diameter then extrude it and extrude up to 520 mm make it reverse okay let's define the material okay now here we want to create the thread so first uh, choose this face circle and draw little bigger circle let's say 10.5 mm go to feature here and here you will find one option helix and spiral now here we want to create some teeth and keep pitch and height constant height let's say uh, we will keep 100 and 2 mm which let's say 3 mm this one we can uh, a little increase also uh, 306 anyway let's try 102 only and then little we will uh, extrude reverse direction 90 degree clockwise that's it now choose right plane sketch normal now here let's make the profile uh, make by center line set vertical keep diameter 30 mm okay now select this point and this line collinear so that it will be perfect here and one more relation collinear see it's just parallel to this line or even you can create a relation from here draw one more line make sure both the line horizontal 
now let's define it from origin point Five point twenty five millimeter. The second line from origin point six millimeter. See here. Okay. A star point. I think no need this in perfect position. Let's choose here line. Uh, let's define it first. Distance from here, uh, no, we actually need a star point. Put it one star here, one in the center. Zero point seventy five. This is what we required here. And uh, put one star point here. And let's define this gap. by default 1.1 that's okay now select line and connect it here to this point exit now this is the our geometry exit sweep to boss base select the profile now see you can see the thread now here make one more option uncheck this merge result okay now let's make multiple number of this thread here so just go to insert feature move and copy select translate copy select this threads sweep to one you can directly select from this list keep distance 102 millimeter Th because this is the our distance in uh, helix spiral height make 234 four. 4 is enough to cover our all the geometry okay that's it now select this face a sketch and draw here a quite bigger circle Twelve millimeter. And extrude it up to eleven millimeter reverse direction. Okay. That's it. Now comes here. See, we want to trim this face, so select this face A sketch convert entity now this circle converted just extrude it one point zero two millimeter okay now we want to cut some face I'll again choose the same face a sketch circle up to this now let's define outer one 13 millimeter the inner one is same as previous 8.5 now select extruded cut and make the depth 1 millimeter see here that's it make 
connect chamfer 3 mm 30 degree select this corner This looks nice. Now comes here a sketch. Convert entities. Now this circle converted just uh, sorry extruded forty millimeter. Okay. Now again select this face a sketch. Select here circle and draw a bigger circle a smart dimension eighteen millimeter and extrude it up to twenty millimeter okay now here we want to create one groove so select right plane a sketch hang I think okay and draw a center line select corner rectangle okay now let's define it 1.55 millimeter one point two millimeter okay now let's drag it up to a distance from center line five point sixty five millimeter okay now distance from this line 40.2 millimeter that's it fillet 0.1 millimeter and select these two corners okay now select here revolve cut select this line as a axis you can see the preview here okay so this is our simple groove uh, we required this groove for assembly here we will fix some saw clip now select top plane a sketch now here we want to create a hole for torque handle ten millimeter ten millimeter and the distance from let's say this corner keep 9 millimeter okay and select here extruded cut and keep end condition mid plane okay fill it okay So this is the our screw rod. Uh, we will use one more command: insert feature combine command. Add one, two, three, four. and uh, okay everything is selected here okay now this all become one body and uh, let's save this screw rod 
part number 5 is screw rod okay now here the next part is screw nut we already created screw rod so let's start front plane a sketch select here circle and draw a rod here let's keep the diameter 8.5 mm okay and select extruded boss and extrude up to 30 mm keep reverse direction okay that's it now here we want to create some uh, threading uh, threaded portion so let's make it choose this face a sketch circle and uh, let's keep the diameter 10.5 mm go to feature go to curves choose here helix and spiral keep height and pitch constant pitch height keep 22 mm this is sufficient pitch three numbers and uh, make it reverse 90 degree clockwise okay that's it now it's time to create some profile so choose here right plane a sketch center line up to this point exit now define some center line make sure both the lines horizontal now let's define the dimension Five point two five millimeter. The upper one six millimeter, and this one by default I think four point two five. That's okay. Keep angle thirty degree. Fifteen degree. That's it. choose here a star point one star here one star here okay <coughs> now let's define zero point seventy five millimeter now this one select by default 1.1 mm okay now this is fully defined so select here line and create our main geometry up okay exit now this is our profile geometry exit go to swift boss base see here profile selected just select the path now you can see the third go to option uncheck this merge result okay <coughs> now you can hide this now now we want to create a main body so choose here top plane a sketch select corner rectangle okay Now let's define it. Ten millimeter by fifteen millimeter, and the distance from origin point. Let's keep two millimeter, and the same here. The horizontal distance five point two 
4.5 millimeter that's it and now let's first make one center line so that we will easily revolve our body okay select revolve boss base select this line as a axis unmerge the result it is important because we are we want to delete this face okay see here now go to insert feature and here you will find add combine select this option combine here select subtract select this is the main body and here select extruded boss and uh, sweep or you can directly select see sweep and extruded body okay now see it's cut out the we cut the thread inside now let's give the nut shape a sketch normal choose here polygon keep six numbers okay now select this any one and vertical and let's make it 14 mm circle take some bigger circle uh, any dimension okay now select extruded cut then this portion we we, we would like to cut okay now see yeah it it took this shape nut shape now here we want to make some circular cut now choose here right plane sketch select here line it must pass through origin point exit now let's define it Sixty degree, four millimeter. This is the important dimension. And outside anything, it's up to you. Make eight millimeter. Select here revolve cut. Now see, see select this line, bottom line as a axis. Okay. Now see, we cut it here. now we want to mirror it so let's check any plane available no so we need to create a plane so just go to plane select this face and this face and it's going to create a mid plane here okay now select this mid plane mirror and select this cut revolve you can see the preview here okay that's it now hide it right plane plane we want to create one more plane here keep distance 18 mm okay now select this plane to sketch circle <coughs> we need to draw in center line so do one thing draw a diagonal circle now define the midline okay keep diameter 8 mm okay now circle like make little small now let's make the gap gap between two circles 2.5 mm delete this circle and make little bigger now try 
2.5 millimeter bigger than this 8 millimeter okay now select extruded boss keep reverse direction and select here up to surface select this surface okay now hide this plane now again choose the same sketch and select here extruded cut now select contour here select this inside portion only see this inside portion and keep 10 millimeter cut out you can see it here okay see it is very useful during assembly okay now it's time to mirror this one so let's choose any suitable plane okay right plane mirror first select this body and uh, extruded cut okay something went wrong clear those exit and we will do one modification this extruded body edit and let's uh, do not uh, make surface keep blind and make 10 millimeter okay now see that's perfect it's mirror now let's create one more plane top plane plane 6.5 millimeter okay now select this plane take this position hole wizard select here a straight tap a standard DIN tapped hole we want to create some tapped hole uh, let's keep 3 millimeter and uh, 6 millimeter the blind choose here cosmetic select position select one here and one here uncheck this smart dimension 3 millimeter six point five the same as what we will find here three millimeter six point five millimeter that's it so this is the whole position okay select here okay see if you want to see this tapped hole just go to option properties detailing select shaded cosmetic thread okay now you can see here now you can hide this plane so this is the screw nut uh, let's make it little different okay that's looking vibrant okay let's save it A screw nut now here let's make the part number four A screw holder front plane circle make two circles outer one keep 20 millimeter and inner one 12.2 millimeter and extrude it extrude up to 40 millimeter and keep end condition 
mid plane okay see now select right plane is sketch normal choose here circle uh, cancel it we want to clean clear make a plane so right plane plane 18 millimeter okay now select this plane a sketch and draw here two circle from origin point now let's define outer one keep 14 mm and the inner one let's make 8 millimeter okay now extrude here choose up to surface or even select up to next up to next not sufficient I think let's select surface okay right plane mirror and mirror this part okay that's it now hide this plane top plane and create one plane just 7 millimeter above the top plane okay now select this plane and take normal position whole wizard select here a straight tap DIN standard M3 8.6 mm take position make sure parallel to the origin point okay choose here a smart dimension millimeter the same here 3 millimeter okay now select both these center point and origin point uh, we need to make actually relation horizontal try horizontal okay okay now see go to option documents detailing check the shaded cosmetic thread ok now hide this plane you can see this is the our fourth part let's define the material steel satin finish stainless steel let's save as part number four is This one is actually part number seven. A screw holder. Now let's make the next part. Now here let's make the pin. For first part of pin. So choose here front plane, a sketch, line. connected now this is the our main geometry now let's define it 14.5 millimeter 6 millimeter now select both the lines collinear one millimeter 3 millimeter 3.6 millimeter okay just drag it here and select this both the lines make relation equal five point seven millimeter twelve point five millimeter let's make the height four millimeter so this is the geometry of pin select here revolve boss base this line as a axis okay 
define some dark color chamfer 1 mm 45 degree now let's save this pin pin dash 1 The next part is pin number two. So choose front plane, a sketch, corner rectangle. Make sure it is passes through origin, exit. Select the origin point and this line. And here, keep one relation, midpoint. Okay. Sixty millimeter and the height. Let's make four millimeter. Select revolve boss base. bottom line select as a axis okay chamfer chamfer 1 mm 45 degree select both side edges okay that's it now choose top plane sketch now here we want to create some grooves so select corner rectangle exit now select one thing collinear equal equal now let's define it 1.3 mm and uh, let's choose distance Twenty five point five millimeter eight millimeter and let's select this distance from here three point five millimeter. that's 8 mm okay fill it point 2 and select this two inside corners and the same here okay let's okay let's draw a center line now choose here revolve cut select this line as a axis you can see okay so now this is the groove for retaining ring let's try to mirror right plane mirror and select this revolve cut okay now that's it this is the pin number 2 and uh, let's uh, save it as a we will give some color okay now here the next part socket set screw front plane choose here line exit now let's define it 6 mm
keep width the diameter radius 1.5 millimeter and let's make the angle 45 degree okay select revolve boss base and this is the body going to create okay select back surface a sketch choose here a sketch polygon exit vertical now let's define this gap 1.5 millimeter okay and select extruded cut make the depth 2.1 millimeter chamfer select 30 degree point 1 60 degree point 1.5 ok that's it fill it point 2 and select this corner ok now select the whole part ok part number 10 socket set screw now here let's start the assembly of car jack so select here new assembly ok now this is the solidworks assembly window let's browse our first part so we will keep first part base sheet ok let's change our now press control key and copy rotate it ok browse arm 1 arm 1 and select pin pin 2 this is arm 1 this is pin now press control key and drag and make one more arm choose here mat select this clear inside hole and select this inside hole make relation co-centric ok now select this face and this face coincident I think uh, coincident relation deleted mat and go to standard mat advanced mat choose here width select these two outer faces and these two inner faces now this arms in the mid center of this base sheet ok that's it now the same thing we have to apply here select this circular face and this circular face choose here cocentric ok now go to advanced mat select width first select both the sides now this side ok now this is here it shows centered ok select the pin and this hole go to a standard mat choose cocentric now ok now again try advanced mat width 
first select the both the faces of pin pin 2 this two faces be selected then the body is base sheet two faces you can see it's fixed here okay okay now let's control key and copy one I think not yet came again press control key copy okay mat select the face both the faces co center correlation okay go to advanced mat choose here width select both side faces of pin now the faces of base sheet see here it's centered okay now it is the base is fixed here you can see now let's browse our arm 2 okay press control key and drag create one more now just rotate this like this okay choose mat select this circular face and here also th select this circular face cocentric relation okay advanced mat width select both side faces ok <coughs> now here also again choose width select this body and again base sheet ok now this arm 2 also in the center position of this base base sheet 2 now just select the circular face and circular face of this hole and go to standard mat select cocentric now see it's fixed here okay now select this circular face and this circular face cocentric relation okay the same we will do it here this circular face and choose this circular face cocentric relation okay now we need to apply select this face and this face coincident okay okay now let's check here okay both in uh, in center point that's perfect now the main base body is ready you can see uh, let's uh, create one more parallel select this face and this face keep parallel relation okay okay now let's try that's it okay now let's browse uh, here also we need to fix the pin press now let's choose here mat select this hole and pin cocentric relation ok here also choose the pin hole and pin cocentric relation ok now come this side select this face and the previous face pin face ok previous pin face and this face ok now this is fixed in their position ok let's browse the other parts now this time choose screw nut 
better choose pin pin 1 press control key drag we want to create two pins here mat select this face and any circular inside face make it flap it use flap mat here also you can choose flip mat alignment okay select this face and this face okay now you can see just adjust this face and circular face select here flip mat alignment okay now drag it outside select this face and this face coincident relation now let's browse our next part let's uh, bring here a screw nut okay mat select this circular face and this circular face mat flip coincident okay now select this face and this face coincident relation okay now it is rotating we want to keep like this so just check its plane okay Uh, we will select this plane and uh, select the right plane of assembly choose here mat select parallel ok that's it now it always it will be parallel ok now press control key and drag this pin here again control key coincident co-centric relation coincident mat ok the same here we will try this uh, circular face and this circular face make it flip mat ok select this face and the outer face ok coincident relation browse over next part insert component browse part number 7 screw holder okay choose here mat select this circular face and this circular face make relation co-centric that's it uh, this face and this face coincident relation okay now select this face select the top plane and select this face and create one relation parallel okay now this is the parallel relation we created here insert the our next component a screw rod okay select mat select this circular face and this circular face make relation co-centric okay uh, we want flip mat 
so again do one thing select this relation flip mat okay select this face and this face coincident relation okay uh here we will delete one uh, suppress one relation the last parallel relation with this coupler and or let's delete it and select this screw here also we created one mat parallel mat just delete this parallel mat that's it now choose here mat mechanical mat select here is screw select this face and th select this inside face and this face distance we will choose clearly check this face inside face that's it keep distance 3 mm per revolution okay okay now see you can see let's browse the our next part torque handle okay mat select this face and this face concentric relation okay now here we need to create one more relation otherwise it will rotate in a very abrupt way select the a screw rod and let's check the plane front plane okay let's choose the this is the top plane and press control key and this plane and make relation coincident comes down edit and here we want to make some gap five milli it's fifty milli that's also more keep thirty milli okay that's fine okay. now is still we need to create one more plane select here rod and right plane and uh, comes down torque handle control key front plane make coincide uh, we want reverse direction so edit flip mat see 
टॉप प्लेन ऑफ रॉड स्क्रू रॉड एंड फ्रंट प्लेन ऑफ टॉर्क हैंडल को इंसिडेंट रिलेशन ओके ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई सी दैट्स परफेक्ट नाउ हियर वी वी नीड टू क्रिएट वन मोर रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस टू बॉडी कम्स अप सो सेलेक्ट बेस राइट प्लेन ऑफ बेस वन कम्स डाउन बेस टू एंड द सेम कंट्रोल की राइट प्लेन ऑफ बेस टू सी सेलेक्ट मैट हेयर सेलेक्ट को इंसिडेंट रिलेशन ओके ओके नाउ लेट्स ट्राई सी नाउ दिस इज दर स्क्रू रॉड इज रेडी so this is the our car jack i hope you like it now it's time to make animation just uh, drag it in particular position and uh, and we will see up to how long it will oh, okay so okay now let's save this assembly rebuild and save as a assembly or any name you can give it it's no problem insert the last component is socket screw cancel it and just drag it here mat reverse okay select this face and uh, point coincident okay here also choose the point and inside face of pin coincident relation okay select this face and hole okay we want to make it reverse edit flip mat okay select the inside pin pin 1 and sharp corner of this okay coincident relation here the last one okay but where the pin gone just hide it and take the pin up again show the screw 
comes down go centric edit flip mat okay Let's take little up inside face and select this sharp corner coincident relation okay okay now our assembly is fixed assembly is finished let's save again so this is the our car jack exploded view let's make some exploded view select this two pins take it out this one take it upward direction this two pin also take it out this one also now comes this side take it back take it out both take take little up select okay right click on the assembly collapse right click animate see cancel it right click collapse right click here select motion manager uh, create new study now here choose animation wizard exploded view finish in 15 second duration 15 second start time 0 finish again choose collapse next 15 second any st start time 15 second finish now calculate now it's going to calculate the explode and any collapse and uh, both the views you, you will see here all the views so now this is the our simple hydraulic jack I, i hope you like it okay so don't forget to share and like our videos and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks and subscribe our channel thanks for watching